Well, hello everybody and welcome once again to Lightning TV, brought to you of course in association with MJDphoto.biz. Another midweek game for Lightning, the last of the pre-season games of course, tonight's visitors to the arena here in Milton Keynes, Basingstoke Bison. The end result, Lightning came out on the end of a 3-1 home win, so I thought what I'd do is go down and have a chat to Pete Russell and what he thought about the upcoming season and in particular the pre-season games. So, Pete, the, the the last of the four pre-season games over and done with. A um, lot of positives to take out tonight. Yeah, I think there's been positive in every game. Um, there's a lot of new players, there's a new coach and a new philosophy that we'll be playing. I think we've seen signs of it tonight. Our, our possession was pretty good and then we took a bit of a stress period in the second and it's hard to get the first period back level back up. But they're a good team based and stuff. I noticed on the, the, the first few games you sort of tinkered with the lines a little bit and, and bits and pieces like that. So what we saw tonight, obviously barring a couple of guys that you, you, you left out through injury or whatever, was that pretty much how your lines are going to start the season, do you think? Yeah, I think so. I think the top two lines for sure are going to be like that just now. I think they work well together, I think so, but they suit each other. Um, we'll see what happens with the rest. We, you know, it's just open. You know, it's, have we played four lines again for this game, but I don't think that's possible all the time. You know, the way the league is, but I'd love to do it, but I think it would be really hard, but we'll see what happens. They are four quick lines as well. I mean, the one thing this team has got in it, that this team has got a lot of goals in there. I think there's speed in there. Um, I don't think the offence has totally clicked yet. I think it will, but I think it's, it takes a lot better time for all that to come. I think we're PPE scoring every game, which is a good thing. We've only worked on it for 10 minutes, so that tells you something. Um, but five and five, I thought our transition was really good tonight at times, at both ends of the rink. And we changed the full check tonight as well, so uh, it worked well for us. I think it was only one odd man rush, really, in the whole game, and that was good for us for playing so aggressive. So you played a couple of teams around the league. You obviously know what the the other teams developing around the league. Uh, where do you think realistically the the main threats are going to be? Is it a blanket approach? Everybody's improved, or are there going to be two, three, maybe even four main threats for us? I think there's some good teams. We, this team was a seventh place team last year, and I think we got to climb up step by step, and it's the elevator effect a little bit. And I think we've took some steps forward this week, but it's only one week, and I think we are just going to take a game at a time and see where we are. But I think Basingstoke and Peterborough, well, Peterborough's playoff champions, Basingstoke, I think, finished third last year. They're good teams. Do you know what I mean? The, the second period showed us how good a team they were tonight, but we managed to hang in there, and that shows we're coming together. We get good goaltending. I think Guildford are going to be good. Swindon are going to be very, very dangerous in Telford. There's six teams with us off the pop and the rest are no mugs either. Well our visitors Bracknell on Saturday night looking towards forward to these, these, these couple of games this weekend. I mean you just mentioned Swindon there and Bracknell were on the receiving end of quite a thumping over the weekend but they actually turned that round on Sunday night and a bit more respectable. They're, they're going to be dangerous coming into the barn aren't they? Yeah, four good imports and I'm sure the team's structured around the four imports. Um, They've got two really off it, three offensively gifted guys and they're big and strong and we just have to make sure we contain them and make sure we take advantage of the other end of the rink. Long road trip on Saturday, on Sunday up to uh, up to D-side to face uh, Phoenix. They're also going to be dangerous, aren't they? They're, they're going to want to make a point in the league this year, aren't they? Yeah, I think so, man. I, honestly, I think there's more people keep saying four or five teams. I think there's, they're, all, they're all teams. Everybody can beat everybody on the night. But you look down as far as the so-called eighth-place team, there's quality in every team. and. Uh, Manchester are super dangerous. You get a good goaltender when he's on his game. He's as good as anybody. You get four good D-man. Matt Thomas is going to make them stronger at the back. You get some really good imports. That Gron, I think he pronounced his name as a goat Gron. Uh, he's supposed to be unbelievable. I looked at his resume in the summer. So, and Tony does a good job. Everybody knows that. So the team started gelling. We're almost there. We're sort of three days away from the start of the season. Um, to be honest, it wasn't a full crowd tonight, but there was still a fairly good atmosphere in here tonight. And, and Saturday was a great atmosphere. Yeah, it was Saturday was awesome. I enjoyed it. I'm really hope it comes at the nights of last year we filled this place. I'd like to experience that. Um, I think we got a team that can make keep everybody in the edge of the seats as well. Yeah, we make some little mistakes somewhere, but I think that's just through the way we play and it's we're not gonna change how we play, that's how we're gonna play and it's aggressive and it's fast and we'll go for everything on both ends of the rink and I think people enjoy watching that. So it's I'm really excited to see it build up through the year. Well, Pete, it's been absolutely fantastic talking to you. Thank you for taking the time and all the best as we start the season. I'm sure we'll be talking as we go through. Thanks, Chris. Cheers, mate. So there you go. Many, many thanks to Pete for taking the time to chat to us after the game, of course. Of course, as I said before, that's pre-season over and done with. The real stuff starts now and begins here at the arena on Saturday night. 7 o'clock face-off. Bragnall Bees are the visitors before an away trip up to D-side, of course. If you want to find out a bit more information, go to the Lightning website, www.mk-lightning.co.uk or contact the arena box office to make sure you get your seat for Saturday night. This is going to be one great season. We'll see you there.